Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and today I am reviewing This Immortal by Roger Zelazny. This Immortal was originally serialized in two parts under the name of And Call Me Conrad in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. It then went on to win the Hugo and Nebula Awards for Best Novel in 1966. This book is about Conrad Nomikos, who is head of the Arts, Monuments, and Archives Division of the office that takes care of Earth in a distant future. Earth has been mostly abandoned by humans who nuked it back to the Stone Age. It is implied that most of the interiors of continents are hot spots, which just lots of radioactive waste that will kill you, and there are about 4 million people who remain on Earth, many of them mutated, monstrous, and so on. And the rest of humanity has been taken in on the planets of the Vagan Combine, which is an alien civilization. The Vagans now basically own Earth or large portions of the Earth. They have never seen a destroyed civilization before and they are fascinated by it. They set up resorts in the coastal areas, they tour the remaining important sites on Earth, and it's kind of implied that Vagans are so bored with themselves that they're like culturally appropriating human history and human art in order to entertain themselves. One day, Conrad is asked to take a Vagan on a tour of Earth because this particular galacto journalist named Mishtigo is writing a book about Earth. Now, Mishtigo is kind of rude, he ignores others, he doesn't talk to them very much, he just wants to go from place to place taking notes and taking pictures. It appears to Conrad that someone in their traveling group is trying to kill Mishtigo, and the question is why, and will Conrad let it happen? Because as you find out through the course of the book, Conrad has lived multiple past lives, and it's quite possible that he has some anti-vegan politics, especially where the future of Earth is concerned. And there is something about this particular vegan and the book that he is writing that could influence the final fate of Earth. And that's the basic plot. The main character of this book, Conrad Nomokos, was really cool. I loved him. He has like the proto-voice of characters like Corwin from the Amber Chronicles and Sam from Lord of Light, so he can deliver these deadpan lines, rapid-fire banter, um, some real witty, dark humor type stuff, in addition to some more intellectual, philosophical, um, thoughts on things. I love how Conrad can go from this absolute prosaic matter-of-factness about living on a radioactive planet that's kind of been abandoned and dying, and then he suddenly switches to something so like ancient and mystic as literally charming mutant satyrs in a wood with his pipes. And that swing between the modern and the ancient seems very uh, Zelazny to me. Other than Conrad, the rest of the characters and the setting of this book aren't overly special, but the message about what should become of Earth, especially when humanity no longer wants it anymore, is very interesting, and I think it is a message and a theme that Zelazny tackles very well. I'm not actually sure if I have any major or minor criticisms of this book. It definitely belongs to the older canon of science fiction, and yet it felt relatively timeless to me. I was never reading this book thinking, this is old. I was reading it thinking, this is a really interesting story. Now, I pretty much blasted the last old classic science fiction book I read for its terrible depiction of women, so in the issue of fairness, I am not going to skip that aspect here. Short and sweet, I had no problems at all with the depiction of women in this book, and uh, when I read it for the second time, I was trying to pay closer attention to that aspect, and yeah, there are multiple female characters, but they are presented as real people with real motivations. No problems there. Good job, Zelazny. I gave this book four out of five stars on Goodreads and four and a half stars on Library Thing. I was just so thrilled while reading this book, and when I read it for a second time, I was so happy that I immediately rediscovered and refelt that thrill of the adventure, that interest in the characters and in the story and in in knowing even more what's going on the second time. I could highly recommend this book to you for multiple reasons. If you're looking to read, um, discover, or read more older classic science fiction, this is a really good one to pick up, I think, especially because I think it avoids some of the pitfalls 
that older science fiction books um, have to the to the modern reader. I think this is also a great place to start with Zelazny if you've never read any of his books. It is very Zelazny. So if you like this book, I can easily see that you would like The Amber Chronicles, Lord of Light, and, and other things by him. That is it for my review of This Immortal by Roger Zelazny. If you have read this book, please let me know down in comments. I'm going to be rereading The Amber Chronicles by him. They are fantasy, not science fiction. Um, but if you're interested in reading any Roger Zelazny this year, um, I would love to probably like buddy read The Amber Chronicles with people and talk about them. Um, I'm also going to be reading Creatures of Light and Darkness this year, which I, I think is science fiction. So if you're interested in that one as well, let me know. And until my next video, when I will talk to you again, bye. <laughs> derp, Rachel, derp. <laughs>